right, so uh, the other night, or last night I should say, I took the bike for a bit of a spin down the Hume Highway and uh, it was good to get on the uh, on the bike, I've got to say. It's good to get out on the CF Moto 700 MT. And uh, I've got to say that uh, so far so good. The bike's coming up to a year next month and um, no issues. I've, I'm really happy with it. The uh, Chinese brands are really uh, kicking some goals. In fact, I think they're taking over the world. I think... Uh, I think China's already invaded Australia. You know what I mean? Like, um, if you think about it, all the uh, all the cars and the bikes are all coming out of the, out of China now. They're, they're just going to dominate, and um, and uh, the quality's fantastic. Let me tell you, this particular bike I've had for a year now. I've had no issues. Reliability's been good. The uh, the handling's been great. All the uh, running gear's really good. It's a well balanced bike. It's got everything the new bikes are coming out with have got. And uh, some of the things that people don't talk about is the uh, the lights on this bike. Uh, you know, on the MT450 and the, uh, some of the other bikes, the, uh, the headlight is, uh, you've got the under and over setup, whereas the high beam is, uh, I think it's below or above, and the uh, normal beam is, you know, they're basically sitting one on top of each other. So the actual LED lights, the lighting that comes out of this little light is fantastic for my... Uh, for my needs and I don't go riding at night I don't normally do that you know there's too many risks with the animals and especially here at just outside of Aubrey you'll see a few fresh dead kangaroos with all these trucks going through and that so the other thing too the uh, the bike that I'm riding it's got the adjustable windscreen as well so that gives you a fair bit of protection on the uh, when it's put up on the uh, highest uh, section I think it's a 40 mil travel on the uh, on the uh, screen, so it goes up and down 40 mil basically, just like all the new bikes, the 450 and the 800 and all the rest of it. It's got the USB connections as well, two ports there, so you can charge up your uh, battery, run your Garmin or whatever you, you know, GPS or whatever you, you know, your phones, <coughs> your cameras. It's a really good setup. And um, so it's been, like I said, it's 11 months now, and next month will be a year and uh, no issues. And uh, I've gone through over everything in, in detail in the previous videos, but uh, just a recap, 300mm discs at the front, uh, JG1 four-pot calipers, which are basically, uh, I think they're part of Brembo. And, um, you know, no issues, the brakes are fantastic, you know, and I've ridden a few Jap bikes in the past. <coughs> and I've got to say, these, these ones are really good. The, uh, the balance of the bike, the suspension is really good as well. When I say balance, I mean, you know, you haven't got a bike that's all, all the weights on the front or the back. It just seems to work really well. So when you're, you know, cornering and uh, and, and whatnot, it's, it seems to run pretty good. There's no uh, no issues there. So I've taken it for a couple of long roads and a bit of touring. It's been good. But the thing I was going to say today was, uh, you know, while we're driving down the highway, uh, I don't want to bore you to tears just looking at a straight road, but... Uh, the thing I wanted to say was uh, yeah, CF Motor are going to release a whole heap of bikes next year as well. They're releasing um, a 675 triple, a road bike, a four-cylinder a four 500cc bike, the uh, SR500. It's, uh, uh, it just blows my mind how they can do it. It's just a uh, dollar for, you know, value is just incredible. And um, well, on top of that, there's also the uh, 800 MTX, which people already uh, put deposits down for, I'm told, from some of the dealers. They, uh, they already placed their order for the uh, 800. And, and me me like mechanically, it's very similar, but it's a better balanced bike by the look of it. So they're br bringing out a more refined 800 MTX to, I don't know if it's going to replace the MT or if it's just going to be a different model, like standalone, I don't know. But power and everything else from the, from the engine is going to be about the same as the 800 MT, but... I know it's uh, it's going to be you know a better balance. When I say better balance, the, the thing with the 800 MT was, and my bike as well, is they're top heavy. That means when you fill up the tank and you you know you just move to the left or the right, say say you're at a at a stop, and you can feel the weight of the bike. It just wants to pull you over, and um, that that was a bit of a pain in the neck for me. It's the only thing I really don't like about the, the setup, but uh, I believe the uh, MTX 800 looks like it's more like a KDM, and uh, the petrol and the weight is probably lower, so the handling should be a lot better than the um, you know, than the previous models. And uh, on top of that, the 450 
MT is killing it. Now, I had one on order, but uh, circumstances uh, changed, so I had to cancel the order. But my brother's got one, and yeah, he swears by it. They love the bike. It's really uh, doing well. It's, it's breaking records on the sales, I can tell you. And um, on top of that, uh, I had a look online recently as well that the, uh, there's a 700 MT replacement to replace. I mean, the naming is the same as my, my bike, but uh, it's certainly a totally different bike. The 700 MT that's, uh, that's shown online is, uh, is more like a uh, baby brother to the 800 MT and MTX. It's, uh, and it looks more uh, adventure riding bike. It's, uh, you know, it's got spoke wheels and, and uh, it, it, it just looks totally different to, to the current MT. <clears throat> the 700. My bike's more a sports tourer. It runs on 17-inch rims, alloy, cast alloy rims, and um, it's more for the road. Than, although they say otherwise, I, I, I beg to differ. So, you know, the 700 will be interesting to see because that's probably some people don't want to go too big. If, if they can keep the weight down, it'll be an interesting bike. It'll be be good to see. <clears throat> if they can keep the weight down closer to 200 kilos, that'll be great. I think that'll be a winner as well because people don't necessarily need all the big power. They want something reasonably light that they can, uh, you know, travel on and it'll do the job. So I think uh, CF Moto are going to kick some goals next year in Australia. I know across the world they're uh, they're kicking goals. They're really selling uh, quite a fair bit. Now I don't know if you went to the Phillip Island Grand Prix and uh, saw the stand there, the stand by the CF Moto and. They were very clever in the marketing because, uh, you know, they're even providing the 450s for the marshals and, yeah, they're really promoting the brand and um, I think uh, I think the uh, other common brands like Kawasaki, Suzuki and Honda and all the, all the rest of them and, you know, I think they're going to be in, some, uh, in for some serious uh, rethinking, otherwise they're going to be in survival mode, I think, next year. So, anyway, let's uh, continue on... on heading home now through uh, through Aubrey. Uh, the thing I wanted to say too was uh, I'm using the uh, DJI Action 4 camera that I just recently purchased and um, I'm just moving away from the GoPro. The GoPro is great when, it, when it's working and that's it. I'll say no more. It's a good camera but when it's working and the battery life it's all crap. Whereas the uh, DJI models that are coming out now are fantastic and low light performance is, uh, I've got to say, it's really impressive a little action camera I believe the 5 is even better so I brought this just before the 5 came out and um, I, I mean I, I don't really need the 5 I mean the, the battery life is even better than this one so that was one regret I have for not waiting but anyway um, overall with the bike the CF Moto brand I'm really happy and I haven't heard too many I, in fact I don't think I've had anything negative out of, out of anyone really I know there's been a few little nigglies for other other you know models and that here and there, but I haven't heard too much that's uh, you know that's cause for grief. Now performance on this uh, 700, I've said this uh, a few times. Um, uh, it's not a four cylinder; it's a two, twin cylinder 693cc motorbike. It produces I think 55 kilowatts in Australia. In uh, Europe, it's 49 kilowatts. They've actually choked it with the uh, all the emission controls and. And you find that the, uh, the guys in uh, Europe are getting really crappy fuel consumption, whereas here in Australia I'm getting about 4.5 uh, litres to the 100, which is pretty pretty good. You know, I made it home to Aubrey with one tank from Jindabyne, so that was a, um, impressive. <coughs> and um, I was fully loaded, of course. And um, yeah, performance is, I won't say it's a rocket ship, but it's, 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 it's more than enough for my, uh, for my needs. And... Um, you know, overall, I've got nothing, nothing uh, bad to say about it. But anyway, look, I won't dabble on too much. The uh, the last thing I was going to say about these uh, Chinese bikes is they, you know, they're running these 270 degree crank on them, and uh, although they're parallel twins, they sound more like a lumpy V twin. You know, if you if you listen to the sound of this thing, it gives a really nice sound, stock standard. Of course, I haven't changed that much. I don't know, nothing. It gives you a really nice lumpy, lumpy idle, lumpy sound, and. Um, very impressed with the uh, overall package so anyway look enough said look thanks for watching guys i hope you have a lovely week and a blessed week and um, we'll see you on the next one thanks for watching